Hello my friends, I start to make videos about small elements, some of them I will take from old books and journals and also some of them I will draw by myself and I will create them, just I will use my imagination and step by step I will show you how to make them. For my elements I will use threads like this, it's Italian viscose, sapphire lux. For, to, for lesson number one I will use these two uh, threads. We have here golden beige and this brown, middle brown. Also I will use needle 1.7 millimeters and uh, scissors to cut this thread and also maybe sometimes I will use this pin. Today we will have first element, I took this motif from uh, old book and I will use scheme like this. Uh, we have here, yes, black and white scheme, but don't worry, I will show you everything and I will explain everything to you during my work. This element, I call it Duchess, and yes, scheme for this element, you will be able to download free crochet patterns group uh, on Facebook, link you will find below this video. So now let's start. First, uh, we should make 18 loops, in the middle we have this ring, 18 loops, and I will join this chain to the ring by making a slip stitch. In the beginning I will use a light color, this one, golden beige, and yes, I will start. So first uh, I will leave tail around 20 centimeters, take thread like this, and just I will make a circle, just to start. These uh, two threads cross each other, so I will catch this point, and next yarn over and draw through this working loop. And in such way we can start our work. Yes, we have one chain loop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chain loops we have. Now join to the first chain that we have here in the beginning. Insert hook below this thread, yarn over, and draw through this loop and also through this working loop. Now we have ring from eight chain loops. After I will take this two threads, working thread and tail, and draw to the right side, like this. Next, make this working loop smaller. So, I just uh, want to start like this, this tail will, will stay at the right side, and now we have like one chain loop, we should make two, two chain loops, and after 15 single crochet around this ring. So, very simple, just a you should make uh, 15 single crochet round. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now joining to the second chain loop that we made in the beginning, just insert hook below the thread and make slip stitch like this. And in such way we finish it to make this row with 15 single crochet round and I finish it by slip stitch. Now we will make this part. In the beginning I should make here 5 chain loops to move up after two treble crochet stitches I will join at the top point. So let's do this. So one, two, three, four, five. Two times yarn over to the same point, starting point, insert your hook and make treble crochet stitch, just don't finish it. And again two times yarn over to the same point, make treble crochet stitch and again don't finish it. After we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and join them. And this will be beginning. After on the scheme we have five chain loops. Make them accurate, not too tight. Three, four, five. After two times yarn over, skip one single crochet stitch in previous row and to the second below two threads, insert your hook and start to make a treble crochet stitch. Just don't finish it. Again two times yarn over, make again this stitch and once again treble crochet stitch three times, just don't finish each stitch. Now we have three, four loops on the hook, yarn over and join this all loops by one thread. Okay, and now once again I will make five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Five chain loops. 
Next, two times yarn over, again skip one single crochet stitch, below two threads, start to make three treble crochet stitches, and each time we don't finish this stitch. Two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitch. Now we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and join this all loops. Again, I will make five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Two times yarn over, skip one stitch in previous row and go to the next stitch, insert hook below two threads and make treble crochet stitch. Don't finish it. Again, two times yarn over, make treble crochet stitch. Don't finish it. And once again, three stitches. In the end, you should get four loops on your hook, yarn over and join this all loops. And in the same way, I will continue to do the same. Five chain loops, three treble crochet, join it at the top point. Just in the end, I will show you how to finish this row. So let's continue to do the same. I made eight times the same, yes. And now we can finish this row. Uh, for this, uh, we should make again five chain loops and a joining to the top, yes, of, of these stitches. So below two threads here at the top, make yarn over and draw through these two points. In the same, in such way, we finish it to make this row. And now for my element, I want to use second color, this one, middle brown, and I need to cut this yarn. So I will make one more chain and I will leave tail around 20 centimeters, cut the thread, fix the yarn, yes. And we have our beginning, this one. Now I will take this color and we will join it, yes, in the middle of this chain from five chain loops and we will start to make new row. So now let's take um, just any arch from five chain loops, one two, to the middle uh, chain, insert your hook, this will be middle, uh, yes, chain. In total we have five chain loops, so you need to count one, two, three to the third chain, insert hook, and now join this new color, take thread like this, and after draw through this loop, now make it smaller, and one more chain just to start. So in such way we join it. Now we should make five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. After two times yarn over and around this next arch, I need to make right now three stitches, with three treble crochet stitches. First one. Again, two times yarn over around this chain second stitch treble crochet stitch, again two times yarn over third stitch and now five chain loops one, two, three, four, five two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitch, second one and third after this we should make five chain loops one, two, three, four, five and to the middle chain here we have one two three five chain loops so we need to find chain number three below two threads insert a hook and make single crochet after one two three four five five chain loops go to the next arch and make three treble crochet stitches around this arch first one second one third okay now one, two, three, four, five chain loops, and again three stitches, three treble crochet stitches around the same arch. Second stitch and third. Now five chain loops, and again to the middle chain, one, two, three, below two threads, insert hook and make single crochet stitch. Now again five chain loops. Two times yarn over and make three treble crochet stitches around arch.
And now the last part. Uh, again, five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Two times yarn over. Make three treble crochet stitches around arch. And now five chain loops. And again, three treble crochet stitches. And now five chain loops just to finish this row. And joining to the second chain loop here, make a slip stitch. So in such a way, we finish it to make uh, this row. And now the last row. Uh, we have it here i will show you so uh, now we join it at this point again we should make two chain loops to move up and five chain loops after treble crochet stitch to this stage of previous row two chain loops and after step by step we should make uh, this all stitches so one stitch to this stitch two stitches around the arch four chain loops and Two stitches around this arch, one stitch to the stitch of previous row, two chain loops, treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row, five chain loops, and a single crochet stitch. So from this point, I will make two chain loops to move up. After uh, five chain loops, this will be arch. So one, two, three, four, five. Two times yarn over to this stitch of previous row, we should make treble crochet stitch like this after two chain loops treble crochet stitch to this one stitch of previous row after two treble crochet stitches around the arch one and second one after four chain loops one two three four again two treble crochet stitches around the same arch first one second one and third stitch to the stitch of previous row after two chain loops treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row after five chain loops three four five and stitch to the single crochet stitch of previous row one two three four five chain loops treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row next two chain loops treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row just we need to skip one stitch yes here i didn't touch this one yes stitch now two treble crochet stitches around this arch after four chain loops Two treble crochet stitches. One treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row. Two chain loops and treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row. Just we don't touch this middle stitch. After five chain loops and single crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Next, uh, treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row, like this. Two chain loops and treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row. Just skip this middle stitch. Next, two stitches around arch. First one and second one. After four chain loops, Next, two treble crochet stitches around this arch and one stitch to the stitch of previous row. Next, two chain loops and one treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row, like this. Next, five chain loops and join to this single crochet here. After five chain loops and Again, make treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row. Two chain loops, skip one stitch, and to the next one make again treble crochet stitch. After around this uh, arch, make two stitches. Next, two chain 
now 4 chain loops 4 chain loops 2 times yarn over make 2 treble crochet stitches around the arch next 1 stitch to the stitch of previous row after 2 chain loops skip 1 stitch to the next one make treble crochet stitch next 5 chain loops and the last point join to the beginning of this row to the second chain loop and make slip stitch now one more chain and cut the thread leave tail around 20 centimeters and in such way we finish it to make this first element duchess now we need to uh, just hide tails four tails light color and this darker i will show you how to do this next we will iron and stretch this element so let's do this so let's hide tails you need to take needle with big eye insert first tail now we will hide this um, light tail in the light part of element just insert very accurate this needle between stitches and take some big distance maybe two centimeters uh, work to one direction after change direction and in, again insert a needle between stitches and just work in the same area just change direction yes in such a way you will fix this yarn very good and right now i think this will be enough you can make three times like this but for this middle part i understand that it will be okay and i just i i made it two times and now second tail again insert uh, this tail to the needle and now we need to cross some area in the middle of stitches in the same color yes will be better in such a way you will get very accurate result and make it uh, uh, not tight yes just i can work for example here and now i will work in the same area just change direction of my work like this and third time in the same area just change direction and now we can cut the thread uh, now these two threads brown color now let's take again insert this tail to the needle and we can cross this chain just this area we need to reach to this part where we have few stitches because it's very hard to hide tail only here this area is very thin and here i can work with the stitches so work to one direction after in the same place insert needle just change direction of crocheting and third time the same now i can cut the thread and the last tail we have And we can cut the last tail now we need to stretch and open uh, this element i will use steam iron to do this and we will see our beautiful result so i'm using steam iron and this plastic cover and now just uh, be very careful first we need to use steam iron just to start this process after by fingers we need to stretch really strong each part and now uh, by fingers stretch really strong these corners and fix by iron this all stitches at the both sides we can do like this we need to open our element 
in such way we will see the design and the real size of this element. And like this. Don't be afraid to, yes, to stretch it really strong. And now you can see our element. Looks like this. So our element is ready. I made it in two colors. First one was 803 golden beige color. And second was middle, um, yes, brown. And the number is, the number of this color is 2843. You can find these threads at JT House Yarn Store, link you will find below this video. And you will find there more than 30 different colors. I am sure you will love them and with big pleasure you will use these threads for your projects. The result is very soft, a little bit shiny and really tender. And also I want to say that scheme for this element you will find in our free crochet patterns group on Facebook, link you will find below this video. Just subscribe and you will go to our free crochet patterns group, there you will be able to use our free patterns and uh, you can create really beautiful projects by using them. And also I want to say that uh, we have also live workshops, I am making live workshops at JT House Patreon page. Uh, I am very grateful for to all my subscribers there, to all my friends who support my work. There I am making the latest crochet projects from JT House Crochet School. So right now we will have uh, two live workshops very soon about making summer top mermaid and also about making wedding dress grace. So we are making really interesting projects and I am showing everything in details. So, also if you want to find out more about our crochet courses, you can visit our website jthouse.net. There we have, uh, I think right now, more than 15 crochet courses, different courses, about tablecloths, about coat, about tunic, uh, top, blouse, uh, scarf, a lot of different dresses. So this all information you will find at our main website. Link you will find below this video also. So my friends, thank you so much for your attention. See you very soon at the new video. I will show you how to create another beautiful element. So, I wish you beautiful results, stay safe and see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.